Hello, today we're going to be talking about stress on your brain. Um, we all have stress in our life, um, whether we're working, we have family, every time we make choices we can have um, to deal with stress, especially now with the um, coronavirus um, going around in our environment, it's causing some additional stress. So I thought it would be important to talk about what does the stress look like um, for us individually and how does it affect how we think and how we behave. And so I made this little chart and this is how we respond to stress. And I actually learned this back um, when I was in the field of early childhood and I was an early childhood expert. And I was taught that ideally we want children to be in this area right here. This is the area where they're feeling regulated. This is the best place to be in order for them to learn. Um, if they become dysregulated, they can move one way or the other. What I found is that as adults, we haven't changed much. When we were dysregulated, we would move one direction or the other, and we never really were taught how to change how that happens within our body. And it's not bad, it's not good, it's just how we are. But what happens is when we become stressed, we can move into either direction. And so as we become stressed, we become agitated. Um, we can become so stressed that we become flooded and we become panicked. And for me in the classroom, this was that child that was running around, knocking everything down, screaming, crying. Um, we see it all the time happening in the classroom. But as adults, we could have similar behaviors. Now, if we move the other direction, we become dampened down or we become disassociated. And so this means we start to shut down. Um, this is the child that's hiding under the table, the one that's got their head down, super quiet. Unfortunately, these are the children that we often um, don't pay attention to because they're kind of managed. It feels like they're managing their emotions because they're not bothering others. But really, their emotions are just as extreme as these children on this side. So we have, as adults, we have similar behaviors. And so when we are feeling stressed, we can become agitated. We could lash out at others. Um, we can act out or we can just associate. Um, we can decide, I don't want any part of this. And so you think about what's happening right now. Right now, um, you know, with the coronavirus, we saw people buying up all the toilet paper, right? They're in a panic mode. They think, I have to collect this. I need to save all of this. These are these people in this area here. And then you have those people that are walking around. They don't have the masks on. They seem as if they really don't care. But this is their style of handling this situation. And so this is important to know because you fit in this area, right? Yet either you're on this side or you're on this side. Or you're somewhere in the middle of this continuum. And so for me, I become more active. So I'm cleaning the house, I'm trying to take care of things, um, I'm running around, I'm feeling a little agitated. This is how I respond to stress. My husband on the other side might become more dampened down. Maybe he's laying on the couch, he's binge watching television. To me, it appears that he's being lazy, he doesn't care, he's not concerned, but this is how he's handling the stress. And again, there isn't a better way, there is not a wrong way, it's just how we learned as a child to handle stress, and we're currently handling that stress now. I find it important to know because now I understand he's not being lazy, he doesn't, it's not that he doesn't care, but this is his body's way of handling stress. Now, he sees me on the other side, you know, running around all frantic, trying to take care of everything, thinking, you know, this is a crazy lady and there's no reason to be behaving like this. This is how I'm handling my stress in this situation. And so, um, again, it's just, just kind of a bit of information that I think is important for us to understand. Um, ideally, we want to be right here in this alert processing area. This is when we're at our most optimal um, position as far as handling stress. In um, our life, we might have 
found ways to handle stress such as um, alcohol, drugs, um, binge watching television, eating ice cream, cleaning the house. Um, these are all ways that we've learned to handle this stress and to regulate. There are healthier choices such as meditation, yoga, going for a walk, talking to a friend. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how we can better handle stress in the next video. Um, but for now, just a little bit of information, knowing that we're all different, we all handle stress differently, and we're somewhere on this continuum, and that there isn't a wrong, there isn't a right, there's just differences. And um, knowing who you are, and knowing who the people in your life are, will help you better understand how we're feeling and, and how we can handle these situations. So, um, I hope that this information is helpful in understanding who you are and a little bit about your relationships. So, um, be well.